be to soften the petal crumb and to take out any existing air bubbles. Just make sure that you keep pressing it against the bowl and it will eventually start to smooth them up. Okay, so once you bring your colors out, like I have here, so I'm going to be making a burgundy shaded chrysanthemum. And you can see that it's a little cold. And when it's cold, it does tend to separate like this. But do not worry. All you need to do is just keep stirring against the bowl. Or you can also use a mixer if you're using like, you know, a bigger quantity of color. But mine is pretty small, so I'm just gonna keep using my spatula. And there we go. So as you can see, the air bubbles are starting to release and get towards a smooth phase. And now, once you see this, you know it's ready to pipe with. So I'm just going to gather that up. I'm going to show you how I fill my piping bag. So what I usually do is, because I have to use a lot of colors, I use one piping bag for my tip. And you can also use couplers, but um, I don't have a lot of those at the moment. So what I do is I use one bag and one tip, and then I use another bag for my color. So if I wanna switch this out, the color out, if I wanna put another color in there, I can do that easily. And I don't have to change the entire bag. Now this is how I fill my shades. So I like making various shades of the same color in my bowl. And now I'm going to, and, and, and I like always having the white in there, just in case I need to lighten up a shade. So I'll always keep a white in my bowl for whatever color I'm using. So now you can see I have three shades. I have this in between burgundy, I have this darker maroonish burgundy, and then I have a color that's a mixture of these two and white right there. So now I'm going to take my piping bag, I'm going to hold it over my hand and I'm going to take the various shades. I'm going to press them along the sides of my piping bag like so. I'm going to take the other one, and I'll put that on another side, then I'll take this one, put it here and then I'll just randomly start putting all my colors. I'll take a little white maybe and just put that in there as well. And there you go. I'm going to cut the piping bag. Now what this does is it creates a very um, realistic shading powder. So every flower which comes out will be different. So now I have my shaded color bag ready. I'm going to take my other color, uh, my piping bag, the one with the tip in there. And I'm just gonna plop this in there. And see it's ready to use now I'm using a tip number 80 um, for my chrysanthemum right here and now we're going to start so I'm going to start from the outside I always like starting from the outside for some reason um, I feel that the, the, the petals they droop more realistically As you can see, some are drooping on this side, some of these are standing, and that's how a chrysanthemum usually is. It's not like perfection on all sides. And I'm going to continue working my way inwards. Now it's easy using a cookie turntable. I've actually turned my cookie turntable into a cupcake turntable. So it just makes it easier turning it around, but you can also do this in your hand. And as you can see, the shades that we put in our piping bag are starting to come out. Okay, so if, they, if the petals start drooping, you can just easily just pick them back up and stick them back into place. If your hand starts cramping, please just take a break. Continue going all around 
and you will eventually get the hang of it. And once you do, it's very therapeutic, very relaxing. And as you can see, as I'm working my way inwards, the outer petals, they're falling on their own into place and it's actually looking like a real flower. Also, please, you guys, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Now, I get a lot of questions about working my way inwards and how um, we prevent the petals sticking to each other or sticking to the tip. So I'm just going to show you. And what you can do for the middle is you can also use a smaller tip, which is the tip number 79. But I can, I've, I've seen that using the same tip inside as well works fine too. So I'll just show you that. And I'm working my way inwards. And yes, there is a little cream that's sticking to the side, but that's okay because it does not affect our flower at all. So as I, as I reach the middle, I'm just going to make small little strokes. And the last stroke I will make in the middle and then I'll just adjust my petals just so that they are closing. And now if you want to keep, or if you want to adjust the outer petals a little, you can just go ahead and do that in the end, like so. Just give them different sizes. Or, and if this happens, just wipe it off in the bowl right next to you, and you should be good to go. So I guess, go. And there you go, our chrysanthemum is ready. So the way we shaded the buttercream in our piping bag, you can see that it came out like so. You can see the shades, plus the gloss in the buttercream also helps with the reflection and as you know, when light reflects, um, it gives off a very realistic effect. So that's our chrysanthemum.